Hey, Steve Dimash here with another Chef Knives to Go Quick Look product review. And this is kind of a unique product, so a little hard to show. I'm kind of widening my screen as much as I can here on my background. But so this is the Chef Knives to Go Nano Hone uh, Ceramic. They call it a stropping rod because it's not rounded, it's flat versus like a honing rod. And they say aluminum because it's got an aluminum base that it's on. So let's take a look at some of the specifics on this. So what they've got is a ceramic uh, compound mounted flat and glued onto this back, this substrate piece of square uh, aluminum. And um, this particular substrate's about a little under 14 inches long, about one inch wide, and about a quarter inch thick. The rod that it's mounted on, let's get the, oh, I got a lot of stuff here, let's get the ruler out so the tape measure so it's about a little over 19 inches about 19 and 3 8 inches and this square piece here is about one inch square and then let's see this handle is about one and a half inches tall this wooden handle so this can be used quite a few different ways um, it has um, on the bottom of this it's got a grippy almost like a maybe a rubber cement that's little thin coating to it so it's really grippy so one way to use it is to set it on your counter and then it'll most counter materials it'll grip quite well to and just use it flat like a like kind of like small sharpening stone or flat strop um, you've got to be a little bit careful because it's kind of acts like a narrow sharpening stone so you've got to be careful when you're using a knife on it to kind of not dip it or lift it too much because then you'll start hitting the edges of this instead of the middle and kind of the whole part but you can use it kind of traditionally like that. Um, I'm going to set my board that I use for my demos here. This is my cutting board demo. I normally shoot with it like this with that black piece of wood as, or white piece of wood as a background. But just an example, you can set it right there on there and then butt it right up against there. If you want to do that, you can put it on a sink and uh, go across your sink with it, get some water on it if you want to use it that way, wet or dry. Uh, this could go in the sink if you wanted to. You've got a little bit of room there, depending on how wide your sink is and so on. Uh, you can also, besides setting it on the countertop, let me move this out of the way. It's a good picture of it on the website showing it on the edge of a counter. But you could also hold it in your hand a couple different ways. You could hold this um, and then set this on the countertop. You've got a... a plastic end to it, but you can set that on the countertop, whatever angle you preferred, and then just use it at an angle if you want to do that. Um, you can hold it. You could also flip it around the other way and hold it with the end towards you. I can put that in the crook of my shoulder, like almost like a gun stock. You put that right in there, and then you could run it up and down that way, although you get a little close to yourself, but it's, it's actually a very stable position. You could do it like that. Uh, so there's quite a few ways you can use it. So interesting product. The uh, abrasive, I guess, grit level, they roll up right about 10 microns. So that would work out, let's see, one, one micron would be about 16,000 grits. So two microns would be about 8,000. Four microns would be about 4,008. So two, maybe 1,500 grit, one, 1K to 1,500 grit approximately, something like that as far as micron level goes. So it's got a pretty smooth feel to it. So really pretty interesting product. So this is the Chef Knives to Go a Nano Hone Ceramic Stropping Rod on the Aluminum Base.